Hey y'all, what's up? It's Alexandria here and today I'm going to be doing a video about how I take off my acrylic nails. So I had these acrylic nails, French tip, C-curve nails, which I had never had C-curve nails before. It's my first time. So you can see here, I'm kind of struggling, but the first step is I'm going to take a nail clipper and clip my nails down as short as possible so that I have as little acrylic as possible to file down. So next I'm taking my acrylic nail drill. I got this off of Amazon and it was only like $20 and I've used it a couple of times before. It's really handy. It comes with several different um, drill bits. It comes with a drill, obviously a brush. So I'm just going to hook that up. I just caught a shorty off a fan Just the one I'm ready to suppress Where did I been living on? So the next step is to start filing down the top layer of your nail polish and of the acrylic. You want to try to get the acrylic layer as low as possible without damaging your real nails. So you want to be gentle but also work to file down the top layer of your acrylic and your gel polish so this is going to be make it easier because next we're going to soak the nails in acetone also i feel like i have to give this disclaimer i'm not a professional at all i know i'm probably like not using this drill totally correctly this is just how i take my nails off at home and how i do it most quickly Next, you want to take 100% acetone. It has to be 100% acetone. Regular nail polish remover is not gonna work. You're gonna take it and pour it into these Ziploc bags. Eventually, I'm gonna stuff my hands in these bags. But the bowl of water you see on the screen is so, so important. I take a bowl of water and I heat it up in the microwave. So this water should be pretty warm. It shouldn't be like burn your fingers warm, but it should be hot. It helps activate the acetone. And to me, it helps make the nails come off more quickly than if you don't do the step with the um, bowl of water. So make sure you have a hot bowl of water handy. And then you're going to take the Ziploc bags, stick it in that bowl of water to warm up the acetone, and then you're just going to stick your hands in there. So I leave my hands soaking in the acetone for probably about 15 minutes. One of the things you might notice is I'm like wiggling my hands around and I'm kind of playing with the polish. Well, I guess I'm playing with the acrylic and that to me helps it come off a little more quickly. And then I would use a cuticle pusher, but I didn't have one. So I'm using this popsicle stick to try to like kind of make ridges in the acrylic and um, help it come off a little bit easier. So I like doing this. It's definitely not necessary at all, but to me it also helps, you know, peel back the layers of the acrylic more quickly. So next after that, I'm going to do one more soak of my nails. And then once I soak them, I'm ready to do one last um, drill off of the acrylic. The acrylic gets really like, I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of starts crumbling up. And so I'm taking off that crumbled up layer of acrylic. So at this point, I have very little acrylic left on my nails. So I just go in and soak them for about like 10 more minutes max, probably less than that. And then I go and kind of wash off my nails or rinse them off in the bowl of water. 
After I rinse my nails, I go in and clean them up. So I'm using this same nail clipper from earlier and I'm just um, clipping my nails down really low. Actually, right after this, I was taking off that set to go get another full set. So I'm clipping these nails down as short as humanly possible to get ready for my next set. So after I finish clipping my nails, I like to go in with my cuticle nipper and just nip away any extra skin just to kind of clean up my nails, make them look all good. Once I go to my nail tech, she's going to clean them up for me, but I like to have a nice clean look. And probably the most important step of all is you've got to moisturize your skin. That acetone does do a number on your skin and you just don't want to be ashy. So I'm taking that lotion, rubbing it in, and now I'm ready to go for my nail appointment. So I wanted to come and show my nails. I got my new set. And I love them. I think they're so cute. So I had my soak off, went to the nail shop, and here's the final result. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.